environment one grinder pump station. I'm going to go over some basic steps on pulling the pump. There's three 7 16 head bolts bolting this lid onto, securing it. Best practice is to put those bolts back in the lid and move it far, far enough away so you're not stepping on it. Here we are in our station. And what I'm looking at here is the grinder pump itself. This is the lid of the grinder pump. This is the actuator for the ball valve to isolate it from the, the main. And we've got our electrical quick disconnect plug here. This qualifies as our disconnect. We want to make sure the pump doesn't turn on while we're pulling it. So let's disconnect that now. There we go. Now that the pump doesn't have any power, we're going to close the ball valve. There we go. And now we're going to release the mechanism that secures the pump for both shipping and operation. The tab there now is pointing to the green slot, means this pump is open and ready to pull. One of the best practices I've found is when pulling a pump, stand opposite the discharge valve. I'm going to grab the yellow rope that's attached to the pump. I'm going to do three short pulls. First pull is taking it out of the discharge. Resting the pump. The second is grabbing it, hooking it over the station, and the third pump is the pull is lifting the pump out onto the ground. There we are with our environment one grinder pump out onto the ground, grinding section. On and off level control, operating level. This is what an empty station will look like. So we're going to take a minute here and get this ready to put it back into the